Hey, yo, what up, YouTube? Uh, I just want to chime in with y'all. Uh, since I got a little drive to do, I'm coming from Anderson, South Carolina, and I'm going to Clemson, South Carolina, and I just wanted to talk to y'all on the way there. Maybe not all the way there, but I kind of like want to make a long video because my long videos, I usually have more time and more space to put out more information, like my walk and talk cardio videos, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if this video is going to be on par with those, but um, I am going to try to, and uh, I'm going to try to make this video on par with those. Those, I'd be so motivated, and I'm actually exercising, so more things come to my head as I'm walking and talking to y'all. So right now, I think my best way to start off is just keeping it real and just talk about where I'm at in my fitness journey right now at the moment. Y'all already know summer is over, so summer shredding is over. I've done all my summer physique updates and things like that. So a diet is not supposed to last forever. You reach your goal and then you come off of your diet. I've reached my goal of 160. Um, I kind of had a goal of 155, and I just decided not to do it because I'm like, what's the point? It's getting cold, and um, hey, the shirt's coming back on. You know, I used to walk down the street, my shirt off, abs showing, um, telling people about my channel, getting more views, and this and that. And third, I'm not gonna be walking down the street, my shirt off, freezing. You know what I'm saying? freeze your nipple off you know what i'm saying but uh that's not what i'm talking about uh we're gonna talk about what where do i go from here um do i go on a bulk do i gain a bunch of weight do i gain all the weight back that i just lost i'm at the point of my life where no i'm not doing that i've done it um i've done dirty bulks i've done um massive weight loss massive weight gain and I just don't see a point in it no more. I don't see um, a reason for me. Now, it has its place. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? Um, mass moves mass. And when you eat more calories, you have more energy. There was this guy in my comments one day, um, not too long ago. He was um, looking at a scene that I uploaded. And I was benching like 365. I was benching 365. And... Uh, can I do it now? No, I can't do that now. I can't do that right now. I'm 160. I'm not saying nobody at 160 can do it, but it's very rare. And uh, a lot of guys that's doing it are juicing or they just, you know what I'm saying? You got freaks of nature out there at the end of the day. You got people, you always got outliners, you know what I'm saying? Like this one guy, he was 140-something bitch at like 400 pounds. But I've never seen his deadlift or a squat, so I don't know. He might have just been really good at the bench. You got people who's really good at the squat, but they suck at the bench. Or they're really good at the deadlift, but they suck at the squat. Or they suck at the, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's crazy. It, it's hard to find somebody, especially someone who's natural, that's really outstanding at all three. You know what I'm saying? But uh, especially at a low body weight. But that's not my point. I don't worry about other people. I worry about me. I worried about my goal, you know what I'm saying? So what's my goal now? My goal now is to stay relatively lean, but come off my diet to reset my uh, hormones, natural hormones that your body produces. You have to say that these days, because if you talk about hormones, people think you talk about juicing. And I, I would never do that, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's your opinion on what you want to do. I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you what not to do. Only thing I can advise you to do, I can't even tell you to do your research. Only thing I can advise you to do is do your research, weigh your pros and cons, and, 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 and if the pros outweigh the cons or the cons outweigh the pros, you make your decision. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you start juicing, you got to remember that it's illegal. You will go to jail. Just like any other drug, you will go to jail. Um, then you gotta remember your health. It's not healthy. You can die. You can you can you can be messed up for the rest of your life. Um, it affects every organ in your body. Uh, then you gotta. I'm just throwing out some cons. Then you gotta, you know, remember that you're gonna get too big and too strong for your own health. 
lot of guys hurt themselves because your strength is going to go through the roof, right? Yeah. You might get up to a 500 pound bench press without work, working there naturally. Like me, I've got up to 365 bench press naturally. I weighed a lot more than I weigh now though. But uh, there's a slower route. Your body is getting more ready to handle that weight. You know what I'm saying? Instead of handling that weight overnight. You know what I'm saying? Your body, when your body gets bigger, when you get that big and you, and you your body, your heart has to uh, supply more blood to the body. You got more body for your little heart to supply to. You know, I don't know a lot about that stuff because I don't dabble in that stuff. I don't really talk about stuff that I don't do. So let's get back to it. With that being said, let's get back to the stuff that I'm doing. Um, I wrote down a rough draft of the new strength program that I'm putting myself through. I got a list. Uh, I'm going to make that video soon. Uh, basically, let me explain what I'm doing. Uh, right now, I'm weighing about 165. I done gained about five pounds within the last three weeks, I think. I've been eating pretty much. I haven't been. I, I stopped counting my calories. Um, even though I'm a big advocate of counting your calories, um, if you're trying to lose weight, do not follow what I'm doing right now if you're trying to lose weight. This isn't a weight loss thing. I've done all my weight loss stuff. I go through my old, go through my last 10 videos. You know what I'm saying? Go through the videos I was making in the summer if you want to know how I lost weight. You know what I'm saying? I take simple, I take the simple stick to it, easy to stick to route. You know what I'm saying? I don't do tricks. I don't do things that uh, you expect to lose weight in, a, in, in two days. I don't try to speed up the process. I do things that's going to keep me comfortable, keep me satiated, satisfied throughout the day, that's going to help me stay consistent. That's the way I lose weight. You know what I'm saying? I make sure it actually happens. I don't want to... I don't want to talk about it and tell everybody I'm about to lose weight and never lose it. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, back to what I was saying. Right now, I'm just resetting my hormones, um, getting all my metabolism right because I'm going back on the cut soon. Man, uh, and yeah, I'm kind of doing it for my channel. I'm doing it for social media. And plus, I like to be lean. I like to be ripped. I like to look in the mirror. I like to take off the... I'm doing it for me, too. I like to take off my shirt in the mirror and see abs. You know what I'm saying? And people get offended by that. People get offended... All right, go ahead. People get offended by you being happy about your own body. Like, if you... Let me give you a piece of advice, man, to keep your sanity, man. Because when you do reach your goal, I'm sorry, I'm going to tell you this. I'm warning you for warning. Yes, there's there's um people that shame, people that's out of shape, people that bash, people that's out of shape. I'm not one of them people I will never be. I have been out of shape. I have been almost 300 pounds before. I was 275 in my highest. I'm 165 right now. I'm 110 pounds lower than my highest weight. Um. And did I lose that in a year? Throughout the years, I've been up and down on purpose, um, bulking and cutting stuff like that. Dirty bulking has is as it has is depends on your goals. Dirty bulking has its pros. Everything has pros and cons. When you choose what your personal goals are, look at the pros and cons. If you're doing this for um, satisfaction, if you're doing this to show off, if you're doing this to get women. People will knock you for that. People will say, y'all, you shouldn't be doing it for that. But if that's what you want to do, you do it. Life too short not to not do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Life is way too short. You know what I'm saying? You're going to look back and you're going to be like, man, I ain't never done nothing that I wanted to do. You're going to tell your grandkids. What you going to tell your grandkids when they ask you, dog? You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm going to tell my grandkids. I try my best to, to live the life I wanted to live. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell them I did it because I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I lived a happy life, dog. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, My plan is to stay relatively lean. 
I have a limit. I'm gonna limit myself at like 175, maybe 170, 175. Um, I've gained five pounds. Initially, the water, the the weight that you're gonna gain is not fat; it's water weight. If I pee five times without drinking no water, I look just almost as lean as I did at the end of my cut. You know what I'm saying? People will argue with that. And it's like 99.9 out of my experience of the people that argue with things I say that I personally know, the people, 99.9 of them don't live the lifestyle. They don't lift. They don't work out. They don't diet. You can't argue with a successful fitness person if you're not a successful fitness person. I'm not saying that you can't say things that I might be wrong with and you might be right. It's possible. But nine times out of ten, I'm going to be right more than the average person who doesn't work out. Especially the, the person that tries and, and fails. I'm going to be right way more than the person that tries and fails. And I'm not dissing a person that's failing. I be trying to tell people. And that's why I don't talk to people, man. I just make my videos. I tell people watch my videos, man. But that's my plan is to... Um, this weekend, I'm going to start counting my calories again. I'm going to find my maintenance calories, my new maintenance calories. Your maintenance calories will change as you gain weight, as you lose weight. To maintain the body weight that you are at the time, whether you gain weight or whether you lose weight, your maintenance calories are going to either go up or go down. So I'm going to find my new maintenance calories and... I'm going to eat ever so slightly above those maintenance calories. Maybe not even 100 calories above. You're in a surplus. You do not have to eat. And I used to believe this back in the days. And you maybe you still believe this. You do not have to eat hundreds and hundreds and hundreds or 1,000 calories above your maintenance to gain muscle. I used to think that. That's how I ended up at 275. That's how I ended up at 230 that one time. Like You know what I'm saying? Those were my heaviest two weights. And I've been everything in between. You know what I'm saying? One, as a grown man, I think this year it wasn't 160, it was 158. I don't really count 158. I got on a scale one day and it was 158, but I don't count that because it was only one time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I say I was the lowest I've been this year as a grown man and in my life as a grown man was 159. This year was the lowest body weight I have ever weighed. Uh, was it the leanest I've ever been just because it was the lowest weight? No. I think one year I was leaner than that at a higher weight. And why? Um, you could also lose muscle. And I've, there's times I've lost muscle, gained muscle. It's all a part of the pro process. You know what I'm saying? As a beginner, you won't know these things. There's a lot of things that you're not going to know until you get that hands-on experience. Please do not pull off in front of me, dog. I got insurance. You know what I'm saying? But um, there's going to be things that you do not know as a beginner. You know, understand. Please understand. There's always more to everything than you would initially think. It doesn't matter what it is. Fitness wise, non fitness wise, it doesn't matter. There's always more to everything than you initially think. You please, please, please understand that. Don't be a know it all person. Know it all people do not learn nothing because they don't ever soak nothing in because they think they know it all already. And also, from a teacher standpoint, somebody told me this a long time ago when I was doing construction. And now I'm seeing it as a person that's trying to teach fitness. This guy told me, we was doing rebar. And uh, this guy told me, and I was learning. He was like, do not learn a little bit of stuff and then get cocky and think you know it all. And Because you got some real good people on this team that's gonna, gonna help you learn how to do this rebar. I'm young and dumb. And I agreed with him because he sounded good. But what happened? I learned a few things. And I got really cocky and people stopped. What happened? People stopped wanting to train me. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? I got it then, but I really get it now. 
I understood why people stopped going to train because he told me already. Me personally, when I talk to somebody about, they come to me and they ask me about fitness and I tell them my opinions and what I think and facts, you know what I'm saying? And they'll say, no, nah, this, and they'll argue with me and this and that third. I'm done. I'm done real quick. I'm done in like five seconds. You know it already. What about how can I teach you? Or people that, that's the one thing not to do. Don't get all cocky. Do not argue with the person. Um, yes, you can disagree. Yes, you can. You got the right to disagree. We disagree if you disagree. I'm not saying just agree with everything the person. Don't agree with everything I say if you don't agree with it. If you agree with it, roll with it. You know what I'm saying? But listen, pay attention. That's what I'm saying. Um, analyze it, whether you agree with it or not. You know what I'm saying? Don't just be an uh uh person. Don't say no to everything. You know what I'm saying? And if you've been doing something and it ain't been working, most likely that's not the thing you need to be doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to try to say the same thing for years and not make no progress. I want progress. Um, I say that to say this. Also, do not, do not act like you already are doing, okay, people be asking me stuff all the time. And I give them a list of stuff that they should be doing and try to change a few things that they might be doing, especially things I already see that they're doing. I can look and see what you're doing if I personally know you. And don't already act like you done done all the stuff that a person is telling you what to do. Because, I mean, okay, business. All right, business. A lot of people, I'd be like, what are you eating or what are you doing? And I eat right. I don't eat a lot. Are you counting your calories? If you say yes to everything that I try to give you advice to do, then I can't tell you no more. I'm like, shoot, I know you're not doing those things, but in my head, I'm like, I'm trying to get out the conversation because this person already trying to, you trying to act perfect, basically. Don't try to act perfect. Don't try to act perfect when, um, don't try to act, don't try to act perfect, dog. Do not. And if I feel like you are, like I said, doing it all, you trying to act perfect, and I'm repeating myself, broken record, every, 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 but uh, yeah, man, um, so that's basically the plan. I'm, I'm, I'm re, I'm restarting my uh, everything, bench press, squat, deadlift, um, front burner is going to be the bench press. Um, I would say I need the squat to be the front burner. Um, I'm really like paying attention and focus. I'm gonna go easy on the deadlift because my right hamstring had a little scare maybe a couple months ago and I've been babying it. But uh, a lot of people will try to give me the advice. Just go and do it, just grab it. If you don't lift, do not listen to and do not listen to nobody that don't lift about lifting. That's stupid. That is dumb. But if you don't lift, do not give me advice on lifting. I've done every. I've reached all your goals. I'm not even to my word. I done reached all your goals, muscle gaining wise, fat loss wise, um, probably even weightlifting wise. I've reached all your goals already. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Reach up. I know what I'm doing. The more somebody knows what you, they're doing, the more other people that don't know what they're doing will try to tell them what to do. You're not about to puppeteer me, bro. Like, I'm not Geppetto. No, I'm not Pinocchio. You're not Geppetto. You know what I'm saying? You're not about to do me like that. I'm a real boy. I'm a real man. But, uh, yeah, what I'm trying to say is this, man. That's another thing. Don't be teaching. The blind don't need to be leading the blind either. Um, a lot of people are waiting to New Year's to start their um, weight loss journey because they want to celebrate the holidays. I don't celebrate holidays, but if you do teach us all, I got my reasons. And if you want to ask me, that's a personal question, but I'm, I'm willing to answer because at the end of the day, I like teaching, but I don't tell nobody what to do. I teach you and tell you why I don't do something. But I'm not going to conform and, and do 
what everybody does. I don't care, man. I'm not doing it to be different. I'm doing it because I don't believe in celebrating holidays. I don't think these holidays... I don't think most of them should be celebrated by most people. Because of their origins. You know, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was a setup. I ain't celebrating that. What happened afterwards? I mean, just keeping it real, because a lot of people will get offended. I ain't do it. I'm just not going to celebrate. Come at me, dog. I don't celebrate none of that stuff, man. I don't celebrate Halloween. It's satanic. Do your research. Don't just jump out the window and say, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You're guessing. I've done my research. It's satanic. Um, I don't celebrate. We ain't going to get into all the holidays, but I got to... Hit me up. I got to break down on every reason why I don't celebrate whatever holidays. I don't even celebrate my birthday. A lot of people think it's a religious uh, belief. Every time you don't do something that everybody else does, you don't have to do everything that everybody else does. Be your own person. Now, if you want to do it, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying. I don't even celebrate my birthday, and it's just a silly reason. Um, I just think it's another day to me. I'm glad I was born and all that. But at the end of the day, I forget that it's my birthday. I'm busy. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they, they birthday come up and they got to work. They take off. No, I work on my birthday. I take care of business on my birthday. I don't I don't use my birthday as a reason to pig out and get drunk. And, you know what I'm saying? I don't do holidays. None of that. That's one of the biggest problems, man. Is because a lot of reasons why a lot of people are, are obese these days is because we have so many things to celebrate and they're back to back to back to back. People just ate a whole bunch of calories on Halloween. The next month they got Thanksgiving. The next month they got Christmas. The next month they got New Year's. They're gonna get drunk. They're gonna get. They're gonna. They're gonna eat a lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're gonna do all kinds of stuff. And all those days, you got leftovers, you know what I'm saying? You might be eating like that for a week during Thanksgiving, during Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Between Halloween and New Year's, October, November, December, December, between those three, four months, whatever, you're going to, a lot of people gain about 40 pounds within four months. they it out. You know what I'm saying? And then New Year's come around, they try to get that holiday stuff off, and they only work out for like two or three months. A lot of people don't even work out that long. And the reason why a lot of people fall off of working out is because they start too hard. Just like dieting, you start too hard. If you start too fast and go too hard too fast, if you go to the gym and it's your first time working out, your workout needs to be easy. You need to be learning how to work out before you go hard. Work your way up to going hard. You know what I'm saying? Do not go in there and, and try to find out how much you can bench press on your first day you can work out. No. You got to learn how to bench press. That's why I got Rapid Time Fitness How To. Type in Rapid Time Fitness How To. Type it in. Just type it in real quick. You ain't got to watch the videos. Type it in and scroll through it. I guarantee you I got something that you personally need. You know what I'm saying? I got so many how-to videos. How to bench press, how to deadlift, how to squat, how to uh, diet, how to fuck, how to uh, whatever. I got how-to videos. You know what I'm saying? And I don't give you a bunch of flash. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to edit like that. If I did, I probably would. But at the end of the day, a lot of these videos, I got a video called How to Build Big Arms. Y'all see my arms. I got a hoodie on. But, uh, and I'm natural. And at the end of the day, y'all see how I look. Y'all see my physique update type in every time. Finish physique update. Um, I teach how to get there. Uh, this one young guy, I ain't gonna say his name or where he's from or whatever, because I don't know if you want a shout out or if you want his name on the internet. You know what I'm saying? I'm a respectable guy. But I met him the other, well, I've been doing, but I told him about my channel the other day. He's like 24. Shout out to you, bro. You probably know what I'm talking about. But, uh, He's like 24 and he wanted some advice. And I told him about my channel. And I'm like, bro, do this, do that, do this, do that. Basically, we talked for like an hour and he was listening. And y'all know I don't talk more than 10 minutes. 
Let's so dang, they just ran them off the road. I hope y'all that. But that big truck way ahead just ran that car that's right behind it off the road and y'all missed it because I didn't catch it. It ran that truck. It had to go over there to the side. People, people are stupid, man. Man. But yeah, y'all didn't see that, but I be watching the road. That's why a lot of times, I'm trying not to look at the camera too much, but a lot of times, matter of fact, because I feel like I'm about to start looking at the camera. So I'm gonna point y'all towards the road. And y'all can see where I'm, where I'm going, my destination. Where I might be. No, forget that. I ain't, huh? I'm good. I'm good. Um, I'm not gonna. That's why I don't look at the camera like that. And I tend to, and I'm getting better at it. And I do everything hands free in my car. A lot of people be texting and driving, drinking, and this is bang, this is not. Nothing else but people be drinking and driving, texting and driving. I always tell people that I relate a lot of accidents and gym things. I relate a lot of stuff to driving because, and I will tell that in a minute. But um, you got to pay attention to what you're doing, man. Things can happen to you, man. Things happen like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to bring up no open wounds to nobody, but just to keep it safe. At the end of the day, I'd rather keep you safe than a. Than I care about your life more than I care about. If you watching my channel, I'm a human. I like humans. I care about humans. I care about people. So, regardless if you in here watching my channel, regardless if you don't even know me, I care about you. I don't care who you are, how old. I don't care if you hate me. I care about you. If you hate me, I don't like you either. I don't hate nobody. But, you know what I'm saying? But I care about you, though. Human being, you guys, children, just like me. You know what I'm saying? But uh, what was I saying? I'm, just, I'm rambling. Um, yeah. I try to do everything hands free. I tell, I tell people like, man, you do not know who's in that car, that car, that car, that car, that car, that car. You do not know their problems. You don't know, not what they know what they're going through. You don't know if they're drunk. You don't know if they're texting. You don't know if they're really young and. And just got on the road. You don't know if they're too old and maybe should be off of the road by now. And you don't know if they can see good. You don't know if they're drinking. You don't know if they're in a the car arguing with their spouse. You don't know what the other car is going on. You don't know what's going on in the other car. Somebody could be having an asthma attack, panicking. Somebody could have a seizure. Things happen in life. Things happen on the road. And I always tell people, think about the worst thing that ever happened in your life. And how quick did it happen? And did you know it was going to happen before it happened? Think about that. So that's why you got to be careful with everything you do in life. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times I drive just to speed limit. Am I guilty of speeding? Everybody that drive for years probably have done it. You know what I'm saying? Drive without your seatbelt texting and driving, doing things that you shouldn't be doing. We're human. We, we mess up. We do things that we shouldn't do sometimes. But that don't mean it's okay for us to be doing. You know what I'm saying? We just got to pay attention. That's just like in the gym. Bad form. I had a little dude almost try to cuss me out because I tried to save him from bad form one time. And I usually don't approach people in the gym. The only way I approach you in the gym, if I'm trying to tell you about my channel, especially if you're a beginner, and I try to here and there, because I, I and I sound like a hypocrite. I tell people I don't like people approaching me and talking to me, but I'm quick. You know what I'm saying? And uh, or if I see you about to hurt yourself, if I see that this person is really potentially about to hurt themselves, but you can hurt yourself even while doing it right. You can, but when you're doing it wrong, you got the potential more, way more to hurt yourself. You can injure yourself for the rest of your life. I personally know people who are injured for the rest of their lives because of bad form. You know, I had this one dude try to ask me, man, you you can get injured doing that? You really? You, you get injured doing this? Yes, man. Weight's heavy. 
Okay, a hammer, just a little hammer can injure you. How much does a hammer weigh? Not much. A hammer is meant to swing it. It's not much. It's heavy, it's heavy enough to knock in a nail. It's hard. Different hammers are different sizes, you know what I'm saying? Different types of hammers. But those hammers is just imagine what a damage a hammer could do to you and do to your head, right? It can kill you. A little hammer can kill you. Right? Where am I going with this? A dumbbell. Most dumbbells, even the small ones, weigh more than a hammer weighs. So, if you're in there, our, our dumbbells at the gyms I go to go up to 125 pounds. There are dumbbells that go heavier than that, but a 125 pound dumbbell. I have bench press those, even on incline. Especially when I weighed a lot more. A 125 pound dumbbell, you gotta imagine when you're bench pressing, you're like this. If it slips out of your hand, it's coming down and it might come down on your face. So if a hammer can kill you, which don't weigh probably five pounds, three pounds. I don't know how much a hammer weighs. I mean, I used to do construction. I used to know. Different hammers weigh different amounts. Just imagine what something that 125 pounds can do. Think about that. People don't think about that. People don't think about stuff until it's too late. You most likely ain't gonna be able to think about it. You might not be, you might not be alive after that, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to keep you alive. I'm trying to keep you safe. You gotta understand danger. You gotta have a sense of danger when it comes to these things. Everyday things. Everybody gotta go, but I ain't go. I'm a. I'm a avoid injury, danger, death at all costs. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna happen to everybody, but that don't mean I'm gonna make it happen real quick. That's stupid. You know, to each his own, people live on the edge. People skydive. They, they go up in the air and jump out of airplanes. People tame lions. and, and People do what they want to do. I can't tell nobody what to do. I only got control of myself. <laughs> I ain't doing it. Ain't no way. You know, but I do things that's dangerous. I bench press heavy. You know, there's a lot of times I've, I've lifted weights that could tear me in half. I've done a 545 pound deadlift. I've done 455 pound squat. I've done 365 pound bench press. All weights that could have torn me in half. If it's done wrong or if a mistake, freak accident has happened. But yeah, man. But yeah, I'm, I'm having a little bit of more freedom on my diet. I'm about to go to. Uh, Matter of fact, I think I'm going to go to Bojangles real quick. I haven't ate since I woke up. Uh, it's about 4 in the afternoon right now, 4.30. I woke up probably 2 o'clock. Uh, I'm not fasting. It's just I have things to do and I didn't grab anything to eat before I left. I, I still cook at home. I still have most of my meals at home. Uh, right now, I'm just having a little more freedom. You know what I'm saying? I believe in being strict 90% of the time, but I do believe in living. My way of eating, and people will, people will jump down your throat when they find out you're doing something that, that they think that you shouldn't be doing. Even though you got way more success than them, I'm just pointing that out to people that, I believe in balance, I believe in sanity, I believe in, I'm very late. I can take my shirt off right now and I still got abs. I only gained five pounds. And I'm limiting myself. I'm not gonna just gain a million pounds. I know how to count my calories. I got control. If you've been watching my videos, you know that. Of course, you're gonna, if you're a hater, you're gonna say, nah, no, uh, dude. I ain't gonna, I ain't got nothing to say to you, dog. <laughs> I'm speaking to the people that ain't hating. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to get better at that. I, I talk to haters too much. I talk to haters more than I talk to the people that's here for me, who's listening, 
who's paying attention, who's learning. I talk more to the haters than I talk to them, and that's a big mistake. Huge mistake. But I'm pulling up at Bojangles. For those who don't know what Bojangles is, you know what I'm saying? It's a chicken restaurant. So, uh, they got fried chicken, biscuits, all the stuff that you probably think fries. Listen to my order. How you doing? Um, um, can I have a four piece meal? Um, I'm sorry. Um, what comes with that? Come with a dipping sauce, a side, and a drink. And a biscuit. Dipping sauce, side, and a drink, a biscuit. And four Supremes. Four Supremes. Oh, that's the fingers? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I take that. Oh, um, for the sauce, can I have barbecue? And for the side, can I have fries? What's the drink? Um, can I have, um, what y'all got, Red Mountain Dew? Yeah, sir. I'll take that. What else for you? That's all. 838, thank you so much. Thank you. As you see, I didn't get diet drink. I didn't get nothing. At the end of the day, I'm not on a diet. And I'm not counting my calories right now. Um, I do have, I, I'm about to go back on my diet. I meant to say that. I didn't even say my whole plan. My whole, I did say that, didn't I? I'm going to go back on my diet. I'm going to get down to 155. All right. Thank you. All right, you too. Thank you. All right, well, my plan is I'm going to get back on my diet. Right now, I'm just having a little freedom. Um, I'm going to get back on my diet within a couple of days. I've only bulked for like a couple of weeks. That's not really even a bulk. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even gain 10 pounds for those who were talking crap. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, most likely if you've been watching this video this whole time, you're not even talking crap. So, I'm, if I'm going to address haters, I need to address haters. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull up at Walmart since I got to go to Walmart anyways. Um, if I'm going, I'm going to eat my food there. Should I make it a mukbang? I don't know. Probably. How long is this video? Mm. But, yeah, I'm going to address... If I'm going to address haters, I do feel like haters need to be addressed sometimes. You know, a lot of people say don't worry about the haters, whatever. But you worry about, I guarantee you worry about haters too. We all human beings and we all got feelings and we all get, we all feel a way when somebody talk about something that's personal to us. So, but if I'm going to address haters, I need to start addressing haters during the beginning of the video. Because they only going to watch two, two seconds of the video. So I need to like start off, hey, I'm going to get the haters out the way. Hater, you know, no, let me. You know, I need to show you my facial expression. Hey, yo, why don't you get the haters out the way? See, haters, forget you, dog. If you a hater, you need to reevaluate your life, man. Cause I don't, I don't understand all that hate. You know what I'm saying? If you a grown man, women don't like all that hate. If you a grown woman, then all you do is hate. Probably gonna be hate in your relationship. You probably gonna hate your man. Man, your relationship ain't gonna work. So being in women, it is terrible for you to be haters, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even know why I'm talking to y'all about that because most likely if you're still on this video, that doesn't apply to you. But if it don't apply, let it fly. You know what I'm saying? Because there's always somebody who needs to hear it. You know what I'm saying? People are trying to shut you up. Like, yeah, I don't, that don't, that don't apply to me. Shut up. Yeah, but it don't apply to you, but it apply to somebody else, you know what I'm saying? Don't try to shut the message up, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people that try to shut the message up, yeah, they feel away because they, they feel a little guilty about something, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it is you, mom. But, uh, but yeah, man, shout out to everybody that ain't no hater. 
And we all hate. We all got the same emotions, man. We got hate, jealousy, envy, happy, sad, whatever. But different people just have different amounts of, of different emotions. Some people are overly happy. Some people are overly sad. Sad all the time. Sad, mad, glad. You know what I'm saying? Get mad real fast. Ah! Yeah, we pulling up, pulling up at the Walmart. I'll we'll park on the side where hopefully nobody gets in my way because I'm gonna eat my food before I go in there. Nah, right, shoot, go ahead, baby. Please don't hit my car. Uh, somebody license plate said RTF. I always see that, man. <laughs> Rapid Time Fitness. But yeah, man, comment, like, subscribe, share, holla back at your boy. I ain't gonna do the mukbang because I'm hungry and I'm done talking. Um, yeah, man, I hope I explain everything I'm trying to do as good as I can. But um, comment, like, subscribe, share, holla back at your boy. Peace.